Hello everyone. I am Kayan Khatun from MA Journalism semester 3 and today we are going to discuss about farmers law which made a huge impact in India back in 2020. We are going to be discuss about these three laws passed by government and what made farmers to do the protest. So let's dive Farmers make up to 60% of Indian population, farming 18% of the country's gross domestic product. Marginal farmers comprise 85% of the total population of farmers. The monthly income of agricultural households from cultivation has recorded a marginal increase since the national census in 2011. In 2016, the average monthly income of agricultural families was estimated around Rs. 3140. Almost 52% of the total rural agricultural households were estimated to be under heavy debt. The average annual debt amount per agricultural household is estimated to be around 146,000. These trends can be associated with increasing farmers' distress, urban migration, and suicide rates in rural India, especially among farmers. So basically, the key provision of new farm laws were intended to help small and marginal farmers. 86% of total farmers who don't have means to either bargain for their produce to get a better price or invest in technology to improve the productivity of farms. The Act on Agri-Market allows farmers to sell their produce outside APMC Mondays to whoever they want. Anyone can buy their produce even at their farm gates through commission agents of the Mondays and state could lose commission and Mondays fees respectively. Farmers will get better price through competition and cost cutting on transportation. The law on contract farming will, on the other hand, allow farmers to enter into a contract with agribusiness farms or large retailers on pre-agreed prices of their produce. This will help small and marginal farmers as the legislation will transfer the risk of market unpredictability from the, po the farmer to the sponsor. The third law seeks to remove commodities like cereals, pulses, oil seeds, edible oils, onion and potatoes from the list of essential commodities. This provision will attract private sector and foreign sector as well to direct investment into the agricultural sector. So these were the laws. Now let's talk about what was the reason behind farmers fear. Basically, farmer union in Punjab and Haryana say the recent laws enacted at the center will dismantle the minimum support price system. Over time, big corporation houses will dictate terms and farmers will end up getting less for their crops. They argue farmers feel that with the virtual disbanding of the Monday system, they will not get an assured price for their crops and the atheists. Commission agent who also pay in with loans for them will be out of business and the key demand of the withdrawal of the three laws which deregulate the sales of their crops the farmer unions could also settle for a legal assurance that the msp system will continue ideally through an amendment to the laws they are also pressing for the withdrawal of the proposed electricity amendment bill 2020 fearing it will lead to an end of the, to subsidized electricity. Farmers say rules against stubble burning should also not apply for them. Now let's hear what farmers has to say. This law has to be changed. And our meetings have been made with our leaders. They say one thing and they do it. They are doing it. We have learned this and we have learned this. We have learned this and we have learned this. We have learned this and we have learned this. We have learned this. वाजब या एक चिड़ी या वो दाज कर कोई आलना भी तोड़ दाया ते वो चिड़ी भी चेंच चेंच कर दी रोड़ा पहुंदिया After the announcement of these bills, farmers has largely protested all over the India. The Bharat Band has also been called by the farmers union, who have been protesting the three farm laws enacted in the monsoon session of Parliament. Major political parties also came out in strong support of the Band. And after heavy protest in India, the Farm Laws Repeal Bill 2021 was introduced in Lok Sabha on November 29, 2021 by the Minister of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, Mr. Narendra Singh Tho. 